Hey, it is October 17th, 2017, and I'm excited because I have just installed the Windows Fall Creators Update, and I want to try out Windows Subsystem for Linux, which I've been using in beta for a while now, but as of Fall Creators Update, it is officially out of beta, and so let's see what this looks like. Now, ultimately what I'm going for, I'm trying to determine if WSL can be a legitimate replacement for what I the staple that I've been using, which is to use a combination of Commander and SIGWIN, which would give me a three-pane arrangement like this. This is typically how I work. Um, and so I'm looking for how can I do that uh, with WSL. So the first approach, and a lot of people say this on the forums, they say, well, just use Commander. See, you know, so they're saying, hey, if I, you know, if I go into Commander and here I, I've got a PowerShell open and I could just drop directly into Bash from here. And what people, some people don't realize, some people do, some people don't realize that the problem with this is that your command history does not work. So if I do this and let's say clear and then hit the up arrow like I'm doing here, I'm supposed to get my command retrieval. That's kind of a big problem because I do use the command history a lot so that puts commander at least in this uh, case out of uh, out of the running now there is um, another application that people have mentioned online called WSL TTY which solves this problem I don't like it for other reasons um, because it always displays a scroll bar and so it makes some of my hotkeys and commander not work. Um, so I didn't really like WSL TTY either. So now another thing that people say um, on, well, if you want tabs and panes, well, at least paint, you know, if you want a multi paned uh, command line experience, just use Tmux, that's what they'll say. And Microsoft says this works. I want to sort of put this to the test. Does Tmux really work inside WSL? So um, if I go in here and I can, I can create, you know, the, the, the three pane arrangement I want. Control B percent will split it vertically. Control B double quote splits it horizontally. And I've got my three panes. And then if I do, um, Tmux set mouse that will give me mouse support and I can click between my three panes okay so far so good but here's the problem and no one seems to really be talking about this online the repainting of this is completely uh, messed up and so for example if I resize this window uh, this is all wrong this is not what's supposed to happen see how there's this extra space below the status bar and uh, uh, the painting's wrong. The, uh, you know, you can just see this is all wrong. And the these panes are supposed to maintain their size. There. So if I split half and half vertically and half and half vertically, and then I resize the browser, Tmux is supposed to maintain that size. So this doesn't seem like it's a very good solution to me either. So what else can I do to get um, basically what I get in um, it with Commander in my classic SIGWIN. Ultimately what I'd be looking to do would be to try to you know never have to install uh, SIGWIN at all. Um, it might be a, w a while before I get to that point but um, that would be the ultimate goal I'd be shooting for because I, I am you know really impressed by the, the notion of having WSL and being able to run an actual native Linux personality directly on Windows. This is what I've always wanted for a long, long, long time: is to have the best of both worlds, to have all the goodness of the Windows, uh, the Windows GUI, and all my favorite Windows applications, and but still be able to have the Linux command line experience. And and what Microsoft's done with WSL is say say hey, we're not just going to give you a ported environment, we're actually going to give you the real Linux binaries uh, and let you run them so that they're not 
out of date a ported environment is always going to be a lag between the latest version and then when somebody gets around to porting it over uh, you know to Windows <clears throat> so this really sounds promising to me but I really do want you know a, a multi-tab multi-pane experience Tmux doesn't seem like it's going to give it to me at least not when I run it directly in um, in the WSL native bash console but what I've been playing around with now is what if I go into GNOME Terminal? Now, uh, this is a little bit of a setup problem. You know, there's some configuration files I had to, I had to edit and uh, whatnot. But I eventually did get this to work. It will launch uh, GNOME Terminal. And so let me size this. Now I can go into Tmux. Control B percent, Control B double quote. Uh, probably got to you know, do the mouse thing again. Tmux set mouse. Uh, I need to figure out a way to get that persistent all the time. But uh, okay, there. Now I can click between my panes. Boom. And now, uh, now I've got what I want. LSLGA clear, and then command retrieval works. Okay, that's what I want. Uh, great. Now, um, now this is what I want to show. Resizing the window, this is how Tmux is supposed to work. You see the status line, the green status bar here is always at the bottom. There's never any extra line or two underneath it. And the panes maintain their equal size when I resize the browser. Um, this is something people don't seem to realize. Even Scott Hansman has a blog on this about using Tmux inside Bash Windows, and he's got this animated GIF where he moves the you know the window back and forth, and he says, "Look, it's working! Wow!" And you can see in his animated GIF that the space below the the status bar is is changing, and it's completely wrong. Right? I'm like, people, that's not how Tmux is supposed to work. Uh, so. But if you do run it inside GNOME Terminal and Tmux, it uh, mostly works. Now, let's see, I've had a couple, I do have a couple of problems. Uh, if I run notepad.exe from here, this is, so this is something Microsoft added based on, uh, you know, user feedback, where originally you couldn't launch Windows applications when you were inside WSL, but they added that capability. And so if I do it, from uh, from the bash, the native WSL bash shell that works. I have trouble getting that to work consistently in uh, uh, in Tmux. So if I now do notepad.exe here, it might work. It might not work. Yeah, see, it doesn't work. It didn't launch it. And uh, oh, another thing I didn't point out. This gives me pains. So Tmux is going to give me panes, and then GNOME Terminal itself will give me tabs. If I hit Control shift t here, then I'll get tabs, and now I could run another Tmux session here, and maybe I want a different configuration. Let's say maybe I want a four-pane configuration here. Control b double quote, oh, click back over here, oh yeah, see. Now I would have to run the set mouse thing again, Tmux, uh, set mouse and click back over here. There's a way to persist that with Tmux comp file, blah, blah, blah. Uh, okay, control B, double quote. See, now I'd have a four, a four pane configuration. So then I'd have two tabs, one with this configuration, one with that configuration. So pretty quickly, I can get a whole bunch of terminals up and running and have them organized into tabs and panes. That's pretty nice. Um, oh, I resize my window outside of the, view, the viewport here. Um, so that's what I wanted to show. Um, of course, this means that you now have a dependency on X Windows, and I run SigWin X to get my X Windows server. It was a little bit of a hassle to get set up, um, but I persisted and I did get it to work. And um, so, but that ultimately isn't, if I'm looking to get rid of SigWin, Altogether and never have to install SigWin, then you know that's a little bit of a problem. Or I have to install SigWin to not have to use SigWin. Um, 
now there are some other X servers out there and uh, maybe I'll look into into those but um, that's where I'm at today this uh, even though it doesn't get me all the way to where I want to be this does seem like it's at least moving in the right direction of what I'm looking for you know a, a multi tab multi pane terminal um, that's gonna let let me stay in Windows and give me Linux command line that's pretty nice so uh, you know I definitely encourage Microsoft to keep going with this someday maybe they'll deliver a native I mean you know really what we want is a native native council you know that on the Mac you can get um, you can download iTerm 2 which I can't remember if it gets you tabs and panes or only I know it for sure it will give you multiple panes I can't remember if it gives you multiple tabs or not um, so a lot of people on the Mac they they like iTerm 2 and um, but I guess that's a third party Apple doesn't provide that but it would be nice if you know ideally you could just use out of the box you know WSL would be either out of the box there'd be a you know multi-tab multi-paned uh, console that you could use out of the box maybe even X windows out of the box we can only dream right that would be nice and uh, you know you can just open up a new PC and just boom start start using it without having to install and configure a whole bunch of stuff but um, it's going in the right direction and uh, you know I think this potentially could be uh, a replacement for Commander and Sigwin which has been a staple of mine for several years so let me know what you guys think enjoy